When shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the hurly burly's done, when the battle's lost and won. Where the place? Upon the battlefield, there to meet with Macbeth. What is a tragic flaw, and why give your hero one anyway? I'm Dr. Stavros Halvatsis, writer, lecturer, and story consultant. The short answer is that a flaw grants us a look into the depths of a character's psyche. It offers us an understanding of what makes a character tick. It sets the stage for a clash between the hero's inner and outer worlds, resulting in a tale of struggle. On a technical level, a flaw is a fault or weakness in the hero that shapes his interactions with the world. It is tragic because without it, the hero could lead a happy, nobler life. In dealing with the effects of the flaw, however, the hero engages in an inner struggle which poisons his actions, and often the actions of those around him. The tentacles of the flaw reach into every part of his character. The flaw may be born out of an emotional scar, such as an illness or physical defect, which in turn creates a psychological response. It can manifest as an inability to trust others, as in Othello's distrust of Desdemona, a need to control or manipulate others, a particular prejudice, or it can be rooted in a powerful ambition. This is nowhere more evident than in Shakespeare's Macbeth. It needs to be said that a flawed hero cannot start out as an out-and-out -out villain. Macbeth embodies admirable qualities too, courage, prowess on the battlefield and conscience. But all too weak for brave Macbeth. Well, he deserves that name. Without these qualities, there would be no internal struggle. The story would be the poorer for it. Macbeth, hail to thee, Thane of Clowns. Macbeth, hail to thee, Thane of Codder. All hail Macbeth, that shall be king hereafter. The prophecy comes true when King Duncan grants him the very title. This serves to feed Macbeth's grander ambitions. If the witches were right about his becoming Thane of Cawdor, why not be right about his becoming the king? Sometimes the flaw may be kept in check by the hero's positive traits and the love of those who support him, as in The Matrix, where Neo doubts that he is the one, but is resuscitated by Trinity's love and faith in him. In a classic tragedy, however, the flaw results in rolling action that once started cannot be reversed. Once Macbeth's ambition is awakened, he can think of nothing else. You shall be king. In fairness, he does attempt to put a counter-argument against the murder of the king. But his wife, a master manipulator, easily persuades him to do the deed. I'll proceed no farther in this business. Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemst the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would? Grant thee peace. After the murder of King Duncan, things begin to unravel. One evil deed leads to another. Macbeth decides to kill his longtime friend Banquo and his son. Do you not hope your children shall be kings? When those that gave the Thane a Cawdor to me promise no less to them. Banquo is murdered, but the child escapes. Macduff, the Thane of Fife, suspects Macbeth's hand in all of this. His Highness is not well. He flees to England to gain support for Macbeth's overthrow. In response, Macbeth has Macduff's family murdered. Your wife and babes savagely slaughtered. As the bodies pile up, so does Macbeth's sense of guilt. He sees ghosts everywhere. His world slips into chaos and suffering. His guilt is shared by his wife, who earlier had declared that she would rather dash her infant's brains out than go back on her word to murder the king had the task been hers to accomplish. Lady Macbeth experiences increasing trauma over her role in the murder. Out, damned spot. Out, I say. Lady Macbeth falls into a deep depression, unable to endure her situation. With retribution fast approaching at the hands of Malcolm, King Duncan's son and rightful heir to the throne, Lady Macbeth takes her own life. The Queen, my lord, is dead. 
In the end, Macbeth, believing what the witches told him, that he cannot be killed by man born of woman, fights Macduff, but learns at the last moment that Macduff was ripped out of his mother's womb in a caesarean birth. Macduff kills Macbeth. It is a death that I suspect Macbeth welcomes. The play is a brilliant exploration of how a flaw in one's character can grow to consume one's life. At the level of technique, a tragic flaw allows the writer to craft a hero whose tormented inner life drives every aspect of the plot. To sum up, not all stories you write need to be tragedies. Studying how a flaw operates, however, regardless of the genre, is a tool for crafting character. Use it to shed light on the internal life of your heroes as they struggle against the consequences of their actions. Well, that's all for now. If you've enjoyed this video and gained value from it, smash that like, subscribe and notification bell so you'll be sure to get the next one. See you soon.